Hello, my friends. Be blessed. Be healed from your infirmities. Be delivered from unclean, evil, deceiving spirits. The spirits that have been confusing your rational faith with an emotional faith. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be free, you who are watching me right now, because it's by an intelligent faith that we conquer the salvation of our soul. Intelligent faith is the rational faith. It's the faith that reasons. It's a faith that analyzes, that evaluates, and then makes a decision. That's what intelligent faith is called. And how does this faith come about? This faith comes by hearing, by hearing the Word of God. That's it. Many people, when... And I remember that well. When I was young, I was very new in church, and I would hear a lot of gospel songs, and I would get very emotional as well, because you know how these songs work. Music, there are some gospel songs that lead us towards intelligent faith. That's how it was. Nowadays, normally the songs, the gospel songs, lead people more to an emotional faith rather than a rational, intelligent one. Why? Because the writers of these songs, they are thinking more of the prophet. They are thinking more of the gold than of the temple. They are thinking more of the offering than of the altar. So they write songs to move people, to make people feel that sensation, that feeling of well-being. And they think that that feeling of well-being is faith, that they are in communion with God. And the devil is winning. The devil is using all those things in order to lead people to a fragile faith that is weak. Because when problems come, then the person doesn't have strength to resist them. And then they give up on their faith. They get discouraged and frustrated with their faith. Oh, but I was this, I was that, I was doing this and that and the other. Well, you were doing, you were this and that and the other. However, you are being moved by a faith that was emotional, was just feelings. Your car was going around with an emotional type of gas. And of course, you cannot overcome the obstacles of life. When the Apostle Paul teaches, or the Holy Spirit, not Paul himself, but he was the one who received the message and wrote the following. He said, So then faith comes by hearing, so it's not by having good luck. Good luck has nothing to do with faith, luck or bad luck. So he says, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So, for example, today the service is for f intelligent faith. It's for those people who are thirsty, who are thirsty and hungry for the Holy Spirit. It's only for people who want to have a more intimate relationship with God. For those who say, my God, I don't accept to live in this up and down, in this indecision of mine. One day I am okay, the other day I am not. This come and go. No, I don't accept to have this mediocre Christian life that I've had anymore. So these people who are indignant with their spiritual situation, then they naturally 
will you come to receive the intelligent faith because you hear the word of God and the word of God that has a spirit in it passes faith onto you. So the more you read the Bible, more faith you're going to have. That's it. And the more you listen to gospel songs and sing and dance and this nonsense and hallelujah here and there and glory be to God, but if it's based on an emotion of faith, then you are bound to fail. I remember that. I had this experience myself. Therefore, my friend, if you want to have a solid faith fundamented upon the Word, fundamented on the Word of God, which is His Spirit, God is Word, you know that. And when you fundament your faith upon His Word, then you are fundamenting your faith on Him, and He is the rock, the rock that sustains every well-built building because it is the Word of God. So those who are interested in receiving such an intelligent faith, that tonight I will be here in the Temple of Solomon saying a prayer for you. And before we end the service, we are going to have the seeking of the Holy Spirit. We are going to pray and seek the Holy Spirit and cry out for those who want to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. If you are still not sure about your baptism, if you're not sure, it's because you don't have the Holy Spirit yet. Because if you have the Holy Spirit, there's no doubt. You have no doubt. As it's written, the Holy Spirit Himself bears witness. He confirms with our spirit that He is with us. And therefore, there is no doubt. So, if you are in a hurry and you want to leave the meeting early, you can do so, no problem. But I am not sure about the time I will end the meeting tonight. It will start at 8 p.m. here in the Temple of Solomon. And we will teach, we will preach, we will give what God has given us, everything, a hundred percent, unreservedly, a hundred percent. And those who believe, those who have faith to receive, we receive. And those who don't have this faith and are, you know, half clay and half brick, then of course they are not going to receive. In order for you to receive the Holy Spirit, you have to dive, you have to immerse yourself. And when we dive into a pool, there is nothing left on the outside, it's the whole body. So it, that's how it has to be with God. You have to dive your body, your soul, your spirit. You are understanding well what I'm saying, I know that. I'm sure that you are getting it. But sometimes your soul or your heart that is very sensitive, very, let's say, very emotional, and you get into that mode of doubt. So if you want to receive from God His plenitude, the plenitude of the Holy Spirit, then you have to give all of your soul, you have to put all of your strength, all of your feelings, everything on the altar. And that's when the Holy Spirit comes from the altar and embraces you, and then your life will never be the same again. So tonight I'm going to be with this purpose to lead people to have the conscience of faith so that this conscience of faith may give them the right to think, to analyze, to evaluate, and then decide whether or not you want, to whether or not you believe. Those who believe, we receive. It's what Jesus said. Go through the whole world and preach the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes will be saved. 
Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe is already condemned. So let's work with those who believe. We are going to prioritize only those who believe. Do you believe? Then tonight here in the Temple of Solomon, okay? At 8 p.m. sharp. May God bless you all and I'll see you tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Amen.